Hi everyone, welcome to Armored Academy. This video will cover the 3D morphology of the permanent maxillary lateral incisors. These are in a pair located laterally to their respective central incisors. They develop from four lobes of calcification, three forming the incisal mamelons and one giving rise to the cingulum. The crown will conclude its development around the age of four to five, allowing the tooth to erupt at the age of eight to nine with its root being completely formed by the age of 11 years. In nearly all permanent maxillary lateral incisors there is one root canal with one apex. Their primary function is for shearing and cutting. There are generally no cusps on these teeth but a rare condition known as talon cusps are most prevalent on maxillary lateral incisors. This is a variation of dens evaginatus which is an example of abnormality in tooth formation which will hopefully be looked at in more detail in videos in the future. The lateral incisors resemble the centrals in all aspects except the longer conical root but on a smaller scale. The root of the lateral incisor is around 1.5 times the length of the crown. They show the greatest variation of all permanent teeth except the third molars. In this video we will be looking at the morphology from different viewing aspects first the labial second the palatal and number three the mesial and finally number four uh, from the distal viewing aspect. So number one is the labial viewing aspect of the tooth. This view considers the surface of the tooth facing the lips. Compared to the maxillary central incisors from this viewing aspect we can observe that the lateral incisors have a distal outline which is more rounded a more rounded distal incisor and mesial incisor line angles. The mesial and distal contacts are more cervical. What this means is that the point at which they make contact with the neighboring tooth either side, this point is more cervically placed. The incisal edge is more curved and slopes towards the distal edge. From this view we can also observe a cervical line with an even curvature towards the root. The mesial incisor line angle is sharper, nearly 90 degrees and less rounded compared to the distal incisor line angle. The root is often curved slightly distally. From here you should be able to tell which maxillary lateral incisor we are using in this video. So have a guess in the comment section below whether uh, it's the left or the right lateral incisor that you're looking at now. Number two considers the palatal viewing aspect of the tooth. This is the surface of the tooth facing the palate. From this view we can observe a small convexity called the cingulum a large concavity called the lingual fossa. In this area, the presence of a deep developmental groove is visible on the distal side of the cingulum, which may extend to the root. The cingulum is more prominent than on the central incisor. Along the mesial and distal sides are slightly raised portions called marginal ridges. Number three is the mesial view. From this direction, we can observe the portion of the tooth visible from the side closest to where the midline of the face would be. From this aspect, we can observe that the general morphology being similar to a small central incisor, except the root appears longer. The cervical line curvature is more curved towards the incisal direction. The incisal ridge appears thicker than the central incisor. Root appears tapered, cone-shaped with a blunt apex. A line drawn through the center of the root bisects the incisal ridge of the crown. And the overall shape fits into the geometric shape of a triangle. And finally, number four, we're going to be looking at the distal viewing aspect of the tooth. From this direction, we can observe the portion of the tooth visible from the side furthest from where the midline of the face would be. From this viewing aspect, we can observe that the width of the crown looks thicker in the distal view than in the mesial view. The crown looks wedge-shaped, a line drawn through the crown and the root will bisect the incisal ridge and the apex of the root. The cervical line has less curvature incisally, 
less curved towards the incisor direction than on the mesial surface. This is a key point to help you distinguish between the left and the right maxillary lateral incisor. Feel free to pause and screenshot the summary page for your own independent study sessions. You will find all the sources and links used in this video in the description section below. The images featured in this video were courtesy of the University of Dundee School of Dentistry. So big shout out to them. Please consider leaving a like, a comment and subscribing to the channel. And other than that, thank you so much for watching.